Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Starlight Radio. I'm your host, Z Earthstar Healer. This is the first episode of our show today. We're going to be exploring the topics of grid work and energy work in this time of revolutionary change on planet Earth. I am an oracular singer and shamanic quantum healer, and I will be sharing a lot more about all of those explorations in the astral and hyperdimensional spaces of consciousness in this show. And why opening up to these quantum hyperdimensional realities within ourself is a vital step in the evolutionary process of humanity as a whole. First and foremost, here's my song, Gaia's Lament. Child, it has been so long since you spoke to me. I made the world for you, your sisters and brothers too. These walls I let you astray Kept you from my embrace I'm all around you My love surrounds you Dia, 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm.
welcome back to Starlight Radio. I am your host, Z Earth Star Healer. I hope you enjoyed the song. So this is the first episode of a weekly radio show that will be airing every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time on lucidvibe.com or Lucid Vibe Radio, the app on Android or iPhone. Each week, we'll be inviting on very special guests who will be sharing their expertise and explorations in scintillating topics such as astral projection, different energy healing modalities, and psychic capabilities, and etc. Expanding our consciousness beyond the limitations of what we have been prescribed so far in our cultural norms and moving in the directions of socio-cultural evolutions not yet explored by man. So today's episode is more going to be an introduction on myself, the Earth Star Healer, the host of Starlight Radio, so that you have a better idea of what might be in store for you in future episodes. To welcome you for our weekly hour-long swim in the scenes of Source, and that of my imagination. So earlier I introduced myself as an irregular singer, a quantum healer, and a grid worker. What do these words actually mean? I'm going to start the story from the beginning, when I was 18 years old. When I was 18 years old, I was a very good little Chinese girl. I was going to school, I was teaching classical piano, but my life was really falling apart because you can only keep a bird caged for so long before it begins to die. So I moved myself to Montreal and that was the beginning of a very interesting journey. Within months of moving out there by myself, I ended up homeless. And all the while when I was homeless, I heard this voice in my head say, everything's happening for a reason and you're exactly where you need to be. Now when you're walking around outside with all of your belongings on the curb and it's negative 40 degrees and it's snowing, it might be a little hard to believe in spirit who's whispering these things in your ear. But as I'm walking down the street, I heard this music blaring out of this Chinese buffet. I had $10 left in my pocket. I decided, what have I got to lose? And I stepped inside this Chinese buffet, which led me to my first ever electronic dance music party. You must understand that at this point in my life, I was studying classical piano at McGill, or I had maybe just quit school. And I had never explored electronic music in my life, nor had I gone ever to a party. Remember, I was a good little Chinese girl, and I wasn't even ever allowed to be at sleepovers. So this environment was really stimulating and different, and extremely strange to me. But this voice in my ear continued to prod me to walk around and introduce myself to people. Eventually, at some point through the night, I met this group of very interesting and nice folks. I told them what was happening in my life, and somehow they realized that they knew me from somewhere else. They say, we know you, you should come live with us. We'll feed you psychedelics and have you listen to the Psytrance music, and we'll show you why you came to Earth. Now that's not exactly what they said, I'm obviously telling it like this because it makes the story more coherent, but that's pretty much what happened, that I stayed with them and those things ensued. Their crew name was Third Eye, and at that point in my life, I didn't even know what chakras were, I had no idea what a Third Eye was, and you bet, they taught me all about it. For the following three years, I lived in Montreal, exploring the psychedelic alternative music scenes of the underground. This was what was happening on the surface, but within me was this great awakening. One day I was sitting in the back of a taxi, and I had this inclination to ask myself where I'm from. My conscious mind was anticipating the answer China, because that's where I was born, but almost immediately this word came pulsating through my mind, Andromeda. Andromeda? That's a weird word. See, at that point, I didn't even know that Andromeda was a star system. But you bet when I went home, I googled beings from Andromeda. 
And that was when I came about this whole wide selection of libraries of information on what we know as star seeds. Star seeds, beings incarnated on Earth at this time from other places and other universes and galaxies to assist in the Earth's transition and expansion in consciousness. That's right. And I was always very relieved and grateful for this information to have been made known to me because, you see, I've always been on the fringes of society. I've always felt that underneath it all, something was wrong. That it didn't make sense to me that people weren't having so much fun and joy and bliss in their life. That when I looked around in the world, people were sad, people were solemn, people were depressed, and they were not following what they truly wanted to be doing in their hearts. And this was very strange to me. So upon moving through my awakening of being a starseed, I began to see things in a very multi-dimensional way of what is actually keeping humanity in this low vibrational state of sadness, of separation, of anger, of jealousy. Since that very first moment of asking myself where I was from in the beginning of 2013 to this very moment in the present, my communications with star people through my consciousness has only expanded and become a very integral part of my day-to-day -day life. You see, the presence of star peoples on the planet is nothing new. In fact, when we look around in all the aboriginal creation stories, we hear stories of giant spiders carrying our ancestors down to the earth. Could it be that these giant spiders were actually spaceships? If you were to find a Cherokee elder like I have, you would hear directly from their spirit that in fact, it is believed that these indeed were spaceships. So I continue to communicate with extra dimensional beings in my consciousness both in dream time and in my reality and I would often ask them about my mission which I am carrying out in my life. The first time I asked about my mission, I simply asked, what sector of the work am I in? To which they replied, healthcare. And so I said, what is my title? To which they replied, self-healing guide and galactivation guide. Along with this, I received a packet of information that came directly into my consciousness that I unpacked over the following five years, which brings us to this very moment in the present. So for the following very many years, I continue to have very many dream excursions where I'm on spaceships and hang out with all sorts of extraterrestrial beings as they fill me in on why I'm on Earth. And the libraries of tools and knowledge I have access to being a starseed as I come into connection with the various parallel versions of me in other dimensions. And as we move through this radio show, I will be inviting on very many guests who have gone through a very similar awakening process, who are also coming into connection with their starseed, other dimensional selves, carrying their gifts and their knowledge and their wisdom to be shared with humanity at this time. So what is an oracular singer exactly? Well, the answer to this question takes us all the way back to the time of Lemuria. Lemuria wasn't just a civilization or a culture, but a period of time on Earth. It was the fourth root race of people when we were still sort of in etheric bodies that weren't completely physical. And in this time in Lemuria, we were communicating through pure telepathy, and we had an understanding or a connection with the field of information around us that is stored in the light and the life that is all around. So we could touch the tree and understand the chemical composition of the tree or see an animal and understand its energy and the medicine that it brings. In the book Lemuria and Atlantis as channeled by Rudolf Steiner from the Akeshic Records, it is said that in Lemuria it was when the soul first began to incarnate into these quasi-physical bodies. It is said that during this time of the evolution of our species, that female priestesses began to chant these beautiful songs of rhythm and melody, which began the incarnation process of the spirit into the body, 
through chanting these melodies and these tones, these vibrations and frequencies of evolution and enchantment, the spirit began to come into the body and this is how humanity received its soul in the physical. A few years ago while camping on Mount Shasta, I received this dream within which I was taken to the angelic realms. When there with the angels, they gifted me this knowing that these songs carry activation codes which help people open their source DNA and reconnect to their divine source self and remember the home from which they came. I feel a huge resonance with the magic that was performed through sound frequencies and the soul incarnation back in the Lemurian times. And I also know that we as a species are now further down the evolutionary path than we were back in Lemuria to understand that all things are made of geometries and templates and shapes of light, that these sound vibrations are able to alter and shift and evolve and open. So coupling this multi-dimensional perspective and these sounds directly channeled from source and the higher dimensions of reality of consciousness, I am able to channel these sounds which evolve our consciousness and scintillate our DNA into awakening, into remembering, and into evolving into our expanded form of self. The awakened, the enlightened, the enlivened form of source of divine self that was meant to incarnate into this divine vessel we call our body. And here we will listen to a channeled spirit song of the hummingbird. So an oracular singer simply channels or is an oracle for a divine force. And to me, the divine force is Mother Earth and the universe that we are living in. I feel an especial connection to our goddess Mother Earth because she is the one that is giving birth to us in this very moment, creating this beautiful heavenly realm for us to live in. And all of this time we have been hurting her and polluting our home, and I feel that these songs are coming through at this time to remind us of our place in the ecosystem of our home that is the earth and to remind us of this love and this appreciation that we truly feel for her, our mother goddess, and the ways that we can hold her in our hearts in reverence and in respect and in appreciation and gratitude. So if all the native traditions and even beings all the way back in Lemuria were holding the earth in this reverence and respect, then what happened? Why are we living in the state of disconnection and separation, hatred and pain and suffering now? At what point did we lose our connection to the sacred mysteries of living life on the earth? I don't exactly know the answers to that precise question, but what I can share with you are the multi-dimensional perceptions of our reality that I have gained over the last few years that is helping me to reconnect to the organic living life matrix of Earth, which is helping me perpetuate my life in creativity and bliss and joy and excitement. A life which truly every human deserves and this world was made for. 
So in my work as a shamanic quantum healer, I come into interaction every single day on the ways that the disconnected ways of living has affected our spirit, our soul, our body, our emotions, the ways in which we relate to each other, the earth, our society. There is a multi-dimensional perception to which we can perceive what is going on on earth which explains why quite 20% of adults in America alone suffer from a mental illness and that the highest cause of death in adolescence is suicide. There's a reason why people are depressed and unhappy and it's very simple. The reason is that we are disconnected from our spirit and our earth. This is the general basis of my healing modality which is called Earth Star Healer. The Earth Star represents this chakra underneath our feet and is really a reflection of our relating between us and our Earth, between our body and the greater reality, and even between us and the greater social structures within which we are a part. I live in a reality which life penetrates all things, that even my bed frame has a consciousness that I can communicate to. And in this world of living magic, every morning I am greeted and loved by the clouds, by the sun, and my skin responds in delight and joy to the caressing of its light and its warmth. This ability to perceive all things as conscious is the doorway to connecting into the various upper dimensional mystical realms within which fairies and dragons and gnomes and sasquatch are all actual living creatures. And so the goal or the intention or the purpose of this healing work is to take anybody from the disconnected state of disenchantment as taught to them from the false matrix into living within this reality of magic and beauty and love through the activation and attunement of our higher sense perceptions and the reconnection to our feeling and our emotional bodies through the releasing of karmic and ancestral pain that holds us in the state of disconnection and chaos so that we can be released from its baggage and its burden and to fly into this new reality of light, of love, of life. I introduce you to this song that I produced many years ago called Ancestral Journey, which encapsulates this beautiful path of healing and finally reconnection to the heaven that truly belongs to us.
hands Spirit a hostage to pride and screams We can still find the light If we each take on our responsibilities To heal our families uh, Sisters and the life that we've been given See beauty in everything pierced through the vanity Send love to everyone, the one that made me need the most Caress your body through its pain, reconstitute crystalline Welcome back to Starlight Radio. I'm your host, Z Earthstar Healer. Tonight we're having some very delicious, deep conversations about the multidimensional reality that we are living within and how we can open up our senses to perceive these realities to enjoy a more fulfilling and magical and beautiful life. Throughout the year of 2017 and 2018, I have been working a lot in shamanically removing entities and implants from the energy bodies of people. These implants and entities are affecting people's lives in a negative manner in a way that is noticeable to everyone. The science of how matter is created through the spiritual realms is really not a science that has been studied or understood by humanity as of yet. Having activated and opened up my higher sense perceptions, I'm able to see and perceive the other higher dimensional realities from which this 3D physical reality percolates. All of physicality is manifest through a vibration or light particles which percolate down through the densities into geometries which eventually form into physicality. Through the distortion of these geometries in the higher dimensions, human consciousness is able to be captured and enslaved and kept in a certain lower vibration so it cannot be freed to experience the ultimate oneness of all that is. If I were to ask anyone where their body came from, they would probably answer that their mother and father came together in a moment in love and ecstatic union and then they were born. So anyone would agree that sexuality is the basis of all of creation. It is a reflection or reflection of the sexual interaction between the masculine and feminine forces in the universe that creates. The reason why I'm briefly interjecting with this subject is because we're talking about the creation of all things. We're talking about the science and the geometries which form a physicality and the force of sexuality cannot be omitted from this. But also I'm adding this because we're about to take a look at the world around us through a lucid lens. Our consciousness has a major influence on our body and our belief system. Our consciousness is what we experience as we move through time. So as we live in a world which seeks to condition us in a way of teaching us derogatory ways of relating to sexuality and each other, and feeding us these distortions in sound, as in terrible pop music, our cells, our DNA, and our consciousness are constantly being bombarded to degrade our sexuality and our nobility and our honor and our divinity as a way to suppress and siphon and take away our power to create a reality within which they are in control and the majority of humanity are simply slaves living in a reality within which they are kings. And so these songs and these light healing technologies are sent here at this time to assist humanity in reclaiming our power and our connection to the natural wonder that is our planet. 
And so I devote my life to this exploration of what that truly means, of what it truly is to experience being alive on this beautiful, magnificent planet. And it is true I grew up in the false matrix, in the gray cement worlds of China, in the colorless child prisons we call schools. Yet in the last six years of my awakening, I have been shown again and again the true majestic beauty and the magic that scintillates through every cell of this realm. And it is beyond a joy to be sharing the fruits of these discoveries with you. And so now I wish to share with you a guided meditation and quantum healing that I recorded in previous moments in time to lead you through the experience of feeling what it is like to swim in the quantum waters and to experience the direct connection between our consciousness, our spirit, and the pains and blockages in our body and how liberating these blockages and pains truly make room for our spirit to embody in our body deeper to bring us more presence and blessings in our life. So find yourself in a comfortable position Please do not operate any vehicles while this guided meditation is happening. Enjoy these light codes, and I will see you next week on Starlight Radio. Welcome, beloved beings, to this quantum healing. We are exploring the subject of perhaps the deepest reversal code that causes the most sense of separation and suffering within our mainframe and that of the society today. It is the reversal code of I am not sacred, I am not divine. It is a very old program as likely if your parents or their parents or their parents grew up being atheist or in any stream of spirituality that does not acknowledge the sacredness of each one, each life, the divinity inherent in each breath, in each cell. then the likelihood of us having this reversal code within our body and mainframe is very likely. So let us prepare to go into our healing space as we find ourselves in a comfortable position sitting or lying down. Beginning to take deep, long breaths into the lower belly. Coming into a state of relaxation. Tapping into the muscular system of the body. Into the nervous system of the body. Using our breath as the bridge, sinking deeper into a relaxation, a deep surrender, we begin to weave with our imagination a placenta made of light, of pink and purple, around our body and our aura. We are extending the top of this placenta up all the way into the cosmic source of the universe and beyond. Connecting in with the organic light matrix of source consciousness. Connecting in with the Divine Mother, the Divine Father, as we pull this light cord down from the source, connecting in with the area right around our
our belly button and into our sacral center. Fueling our placenta of love and light from the source of organic life, source consciousness. As we connect our muscular system and nervous system with this field, this placenta of our source mother, we may begin to experience a release of tension. And stay with your breath. Breathe deep into this field, into this connection, into source. You begin to notice that this placenta that we find ourselves in is conscious. Well, dear one, it is composed of the infinite cosmic intelligence of the source light. It's truly the same stuff that you are made of. That every cell, every nucleus, every hair, every sliver of your consciousness is composed of the same stuff except this field is the undifferentiated, pure potential of infinite, intelligent, source consciousness. And as we tap into this organic consciousness that is alive, that is responding to our thought, to our feelings, in love and the intention of healing and restoration, we begin to notice all the places in our body that programs or implants may be present that are resonating in the vibration of I am not sacred. So we begin to program ourselves and our body to code I am sacred. I am divine. I am one with the light of all that is. I am one with the source of all life. All of my cells are sacred. My body is sacred. My body is a container for the divine intelligence that creates all things. And the field is beginning to extract an implant in the base of the neck. any implants in this region that may be constricting the flow of divine light into the body. Focusing the chi flow from the top of your head into the body, into the front of the throat, down the side of the throat. Pushing through any blockages as this placenta extracts any energies, frequencies, thought forms, objects in all dimensions throughout all time and space, which hinders the flow of divine light into this body. Pulsing in the rhythm of the divine waters of the universe. You find that the placenta begins to grow these light tendrils. Going into your crown, 
into your throat, into your chest and your belly and the lower belly, scintillating living organic life force filling up the body with the vibrations of connection, of source, of infinite love. Reminding every cell, every nucleus, every molecule that it is one. It is one and in connection with the living light of all that is. desolation of not knowing if we are divine, of not feeling like we are divine, any sense of hopelessness or sadness that comes from the degradation and the humiliation of our divinity. We are extracting all of this emotional energy just above your body, still inside the placenta, so that we can source spirit wash this energy clear and this energy which belongs to you now flows back into your body through these light tendrils to be reconfigured back into your body now.
as we swirl source light, this pink living light over our body, over the right side of our belly, reconnecting all miasms, all disconnected pieces of self back into our main into the living matrix of life, of creation, extracting any entities or implants or aspects of other people or programs or their thought forms of who we should be or how we should behave or how powerful or not powerful we are or we are not, any projections and programs that been instilled into our sense of beings are being extracted now. Transformed into the source light of infinite potential of indifferentiated energy. Releasing this energy from the right side of the belly, down the legs, into the soles of the feet. Understanding or false programming which hindered our own expression of ourself, which caused ourselves to feel like we're not good enough, like we're imperfect, that made us feel that we are bad or defect, that we were sick or broken. Extracting all of our own emotions that are stuck here, cleansing it with the light of source, the light of life, of all creation inside this placenta of light of our Divine Mother. As this energy is being cleared, it returns to you through the light tendrils going into your body to be reintegrated and taking some long deep breaths of integration, long deep breaths of expansion into the belly, long deep breaths of gratitude for this life that flows within our veins. Our 
left shoulder. Here we are weaving light in to clear any broken miasms or emotions or harsh interactions that we've had with feminine or mother or teacher figures who made us feel unworthy of love or not good enough. We are extracting all emotions from this part of the body as well as any implants, entities, thought forms, objects, not of love, not of your own soul's essence from all dimensions or all time space. Extracting from the left shoulder back into source to be cleansed and reconfigured into undifferentiated light and potential. The tendril of light from the source and the placenta gently grows over your left shoulder, grown into the sockets, into the lymph nodes, reaching into the tendons and the muscles and the bones, as it begins to fill this part of your body with the purest form of love, of life, of source energy, Deep breath, my love, as we also extract all energies that do not belong, that hinders your highest expression of self. Collecting all emotional energy that belongs to you, cleansing it with the light of source and reintegrating it into the body through the tendrils of this placenta. Once again, we are tapping into the connection from this placenta into your belly button or the sacral chakra. Feeling the pulsations in the womb of creation endless love and support for you, you, the dear child of the universe, one with all that is, infinitely worthy of receiving all this love, all this nurturing. creation. 
vibration source. Close this healing space in love and light. We close this healing space in love and light. We close this healing space in love and light.